Hey what's going on guys, welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase and today I have a absolutely spectacular mod for you. This is Too Much TNT and if you like explosions, I know Cody does, he seems to be tempted to blow everything in his life up with any sort of rocket or TNT, including the boob often and Crazy Craft just he can't have enough explosions. So if you do want to see this mod in Crazy Craft, um, let's try and hit 5,000 likes because I think this mod is probably going to be one of the coolest things we ever add to Crazy Craft. So I'm going to start off with this. Um, these are the five normal TNTs, but they go up from normal size uh, to times five, times 20, times 100, times 500. So times five is crafted with four normal TNT, and then 20 is four times five, and it goes up corresponding all the way up to 500, which would be four 100s makes quite a lot of sense so I'm just going to show you how these uh, how these work and I've spawned on this tiny little island which is kind of on its own I think this is where this world wanted me to be um, when I'm playing with TNT away from everything so this is just your ordinary normal TNT blow it up sea island tiny little hole put down them times five uh, you probably guessed it five times bigger slightly slightly bigger hole there we go uh, times 20 I don't think this island's going to last very long. Uh, I wonder if times 100 will get rid of the whole thing. Hopefully, with any luck. Oh, oh crap, no. Oh no, okay. Um, right. Well, I guess we're getting out of redstone to <laughs> bollocks. Um, redstone torch and times 100. Let's get out of here, see if it blows me up. All that TNT is pretty much gone. That stuff is gone. Uh, that's why you don't build things out of wood when you're playing with TNT. Times 100, it goes pretty deep. That bitch went quite deep. Now, times 500, we want to get rid of the entire island, so let's try and do this. Excuse me, sir. Blow up. Thank you very much. It's much appreciated. And this island's gone. I can pretty much guarantee the whole island is gone. And one, two, three. Laggy, laggy, loo. Come on. Come on, TNT. Don't do this to me. There we go. Good grief. How I ever imagined that those chests were going to survive, I have no idea. But the island is gone and it goes pretty much all the way. Is that? I don't think it's gone quite to bedrock, but it's gone pretty bloody deep. It's gold down there, so we're in we're in the realms of depth here. Um, there's all a little mine shaft, so this is going to be quite effective if you just can't be asked to try and find a cave. Just blow the shit out of your world and you will eventually find a mineshaft. Alright, so after flying around for a good 10 minutes, um, having spawned in a bloody ocean biome, this is the first thing I come across. And I don't think I have legit ever found one of these biomes. And it is going to be absolutely perfect to blow up. So first we have Meteor TNT, and that is crafted with 7 obsidian, a bucket of lava, and TNT times 500. Get ready for the lag. Uh, let's put on redstone. It disappeared. It's not a good sign. It's coming from the sky, I believe. There we go. There she is. The meteor's coming in. Okay. We're frozen. These, these times 500 TNTs. They they tend to uh, blow the shnikes out of your world. Oh, there we go. Okay. Holy bejeebs. I didn't realize it was that large. Okay. We've pretty much lost the biome already. Um, I probably, oh my god. What the heck? Holy smokes, the dinosaurs wouldn't stand a chance. Good grief. Those poor mushrooms. I finally, finally find the place. Oh, they survived. It's all good. They will, they will survive. They will go on. A bit like the Titanic. That didn't go on. It's a strange song choice. Um, next we have House TNT. And I was going to do it here. But I guess I'm not anymore. Um, hmm. So I found another tiny little bit of land, and this is going to be perfect for the next three TNTs I have. So we, first we have this, which is a house TNT, and that is crafted with three, four, five cobblestone, a crafting table, TNT times five, and two glass. And then there's also the wood house TNT, which is crafted with a house TNT, six wood of any kind, and two gold ingots. Let's put that one here. And then the brick house TNT, which is six bricks, two diamonds, and a house TNT. Let's put that one over here. And light them up, light them up, Fall Out Boy style. So there's the uh, the brick, wood, and cobblestone. So where's the door? 
door on this side. Okay, the door's on here. And inside we have some leaves, <laughs> a crafting table. Um, this is still here, which is pretty cool. Hello, sir. Don't look at me like that. Um, this one has a bit of a grass issue, but we can soon fix that. Uh, we've got a bed and furnace, crafting table for the wood. And finally, we have the brick one, which is um, comes with a double chest and a bed and some glowstone in the roof. So and two sets. Is it, they all have? Oh, they all have two windows, which is pretty funky. So next we have the fire TNT, and that is crafted with a TNT times five and a flint and steel. Now I'm gonna put it at the base of the wooden one, just for the sake of uh, complete destruction, which is what this mod's all about. It's TNT after all. And TNT is pretty destructive. That house is not going to last very long. The other two, possibly slightly longer. Apart from that one, it's got some wool in it. Um, that, that one's going to last. This is this is the house to make if you are a pyromaniac. Then we can quickly, easily put it out with some snow TNT. Get rid of it. Stop. Stop burning. Stop now. Right now. Right now. Thank you. Didn't stop completely. But as you see, snow spawned everywhere. That's kind of effective if you do have a bit of a fire problem, which we often do in Crazy Craft. Then we have Ocean TNT, which you probably guessed it, makes the world an ocean. And I think it spawns in quite a few squids too, which is not ideal. But there we go, squids for days. And now your house is a water house, it's now a ship, which is fantastic. So to craft the snow TNT, I forgot to say, is a TNT times 5 and a block of snow. And the ocean TNT is just a TNT times 100 and four buckets of water. So then we have this Hellfire TNT. I have a little island over here, which I'll put this Hellfire on, and we'll see what it does. So to craft the Hellfire, you are going to need two times 20s, a fire TNT, and two gas tiers. Now this one's pretty funky. It spews fire absolutely everywhere. Um, I don't think it's gonna catch you on fire though, it's just sort of a particle effect. Oh, the screams! The screams! And, oh. Well, it is netherrack, and it's supposed to be on fire, but you got you got to work with what you get. We're in the ocean here, ghasts. You better run away. Your hellfire biome is gone. Run, bitch. Okay, don't, don't chase me. So, finally, I've made it to the mainland. Hooray. Uh, no more little snikey islands. Here we have a pig, and I'm going to... Oh, my chicken friends. Okay, we're going to put the vaporized one down here, and... Hey, hey. What's going on? Hey chicken don't laugh at me there we go and this should suck up a lot of the water hopefully not the chicken hopefully we'll save him from the water he's good he's all good um, and it explodes the water pretty much and the water disappears what the heck's going on there sort of filling itself in okay how very odd but I like it it, it takes away all the water so if you do want to build an underwater house that one's gonna be pretty effective next we have nuclear TNT Oh goodness, prepare your lagometers. Boom. It's a little yellow particle effect coming out the top. Let's sort of get away from this guy. Ah, uh, this one leaves a lot of um, gunk. A lot of goo from the nose. Um, schnot. TNT schnot. Everywhere. Um, I believe it's called um, waste. Some sort of nuclear waste. Um, and it hurts you if you walk on it. This TNT sort of scatters holes all over the world and makes an area that you don't really want to go into. Very accurate indeed to real life TNT. Let's just make sure it's day because these explosions don't want to happen at night. We don't want any police coming. That's when they're most active, the police, at night because they expect these sort of things. There they are. You see them over there, the police? So that was the digging TNT and that is crafted with two TNT times five and a water bucket. I keep forgetting to um, give you the recipes but they're all on the forums in the description. A block of gold and four TNT times 20, four glowstone dust will make you the nuclear TNT. So the digging TNT just makes a hole in the ground for you to go into. It places three blocks of water at the bottom, so you can just jump in and see if you find a mine shaft on your way down or something of interest, and you can mine it. So the drilling TNT is slightly more expensive. It costs a TNT times 100 and a digging TNT, and it pretty much does the same thing but goes all the way down to bedrock, I believe, and makes a, a, it's a much larger radius. So you can see Lapis Meduda down here, we've got bedrock, some squid, squiddly diddlies, and, oh, a diamond! So that pretty much sums up exactly what that one is used for. Just easy way of finding really cool resources. Then we have the ghost TNT, 
This one is crafted with a bucket of milk and a TNT times 20. And we put the, put the torch down and you see it just shot up in the air and went down into the ground. You hear the little explosion. If I dig down, we're going to find ourselves a nice big hole. Which is pretty nice. If your friend's house is underground, this is the perfect TNT for you. They will never know what's coming. They will never expect it, especially if they see your name above ground. Never in a million years. So then we have the multiply TNT, which is four gold, four bone meal, and a TNT times five. Here we go. Sheep. I'm really sorry. They haven't got a clue. I mean, you hear a fissing. A fissing? That's not a word. And um, this one, I, I was kind of confused as what was going on. But this one will blow up the blocks and give you twice as many as it has blown up. So if it blew up 20 blocks a day, it'll give you 40 blocks a day. So you could use it to uh, multiply your items pretty much. Then we have the cubic TNT. And this is probably one of my favorites. It's the most basic, but it is really cool. Because when we were on dinos and we had to clear a lot of land, um, the TNT wasn't very accurate. It sort of... It was hard to predict what was going on, but this one is cubic, so you can pretty much just blow out the world in cubes and have a really uniform OCD style um, TNT explosion. Then we have, did I say how to craft? That one just crafted with 8 cobblestone and a TNT times 5. Now, did it? yes I described that one. The erupting TNT is crafted with a compact TNT and a fire charge. Put this chap down here. And, oh, some serious fizzing. It's like a firework. What are those fireworks that just, like, spit? I've never really understood those fireworks, but this one's pretty cool. Um, it sends up loads of compact TNTs, and they all come down at different times and explode on impact. So next we have the chemical TNT, and this one is also one of my favourites, just for the way it looks. It disappears, had a little bit of a particle effect, and blows all the way down into the ground. Um, different explosions but I did really like the particle effect like the green and blue stars that one is crafted with gunpowder redstone bucket of water and at 100 TNT so next we have floating TNT this one's pretty funky I'm gonna spawn it over the sheep or under the sheep but it's gonna go over the sheep and it floats up into the air and then scatters an explosion so if there was a house in the air it would blow the shit out of it it doesn't seem to affect animals in any way at all which makes no sense, but it makes it's absolutely a huge radius, and that is crafted with a TNT times 20 and a feather. So if there was a house in the sky, you could blow the shnikes out of it. Um, freeze TNT is going to do similar to what the water one did, and make a nice big frozen lake for you, right here. Thank you, sir. Nice big load of ice, turns all the blocks on the surface, and quite a few lower down too, into ice. And that one is crafted using a bucket of water, snowball, and a TNT times 20. Now, the timer TNT is going to be quite useful for controlled demolitions. Um, it, it gives you a visual indication of when it is going to explode. Green being when it's, like, safe, in meaning you have time to get out of here. And then it will change to yellow, and that means, holy shit, this is getting serious. Please run. And then red means, oh dear you're probably dead. And it's like a TNT times 5 size, so it's pretty effective, and that is crafted with TNT times 5 and a redstone. So that one's pretty cheap and quite effective. I do like that one. Then we have this one, which is Reaction TNT. Let's plop this down. I don't actually remember what this one does. It's very nice looking, though. Very nice colours. Okay, oh, that's what it does. The random explosions with the, the particle effects. Yep. Oh, dear. I'm not moving around. It did that to me. So the rack reaction TNT is crafted with a compact TNT and a chemical. So as you see, it was very similar visually to the chemical, although it reacted and sort of blew everything up in all kinds of directions. I think it's kind of random the way it goes. Then we have animal TNT. Now this one's really cool. And this is crafted using all kinds of meat, even rotten flesh and a normal TNT. And then it will just spawn two of every animal or every mob in Minecraft, from creepers to wolves to magma cubes. So this one's going to be kind of cool for collecting resources, even witches. You get two witches, but there are no ender dragons and things like that because that would be slightly OP and you wouldn't be able to get near it. Next we have the firework TNT, and this is crafted with seven compact TNT, TNT times five, and a firework star. So up we go into the sky. 
with the firework TNT and it shoots all these compact TNTs. Oh, I think they're just normal TNTs. But there's loads of them. And it keeps coming. They just keep coming. He's a serious fireworks. Day fireworks. The worst kind of fireworks. I never understood why pe people set off fireworks during the day. Seems like a hell of a lot of waste of money to me. But the Joe Buzz is doing it right now. Next we have the floating island TNT. Now this one is very, very cool. Let's actually do it in the water. Let's uh, put some dirt here and here and there. And then put it down. And this one is going to make the take a copy of the ground here and stick it up in the air. And we'll wait for it. Come on, this is this is quite a big process, so it's gonna take a while. So I copied that, plonked it up into the air. I used the water because I like I like the effect of the water coming off the sides. So you've got this little oasis up in the sky. And it clones it. I don't know how deep it goes. It looks like it goes possibly I don't know, seven eight blocks deep maybe. And it copies it and it doesn't like rip it out of the ground, just copies it and sticks it up into the sky. So you can make a nice floating island. Now though that one is crafted with two multiplying TNTs and a floating TNT. All right, so I'm on to the final four, and we have the gravity, the gravity TNT. I think there's actually one more that I've missed, but the gravity TNT is going to do something pretty cool. It sucks everything in. Me and the squids are having a tickle fest, and they're spawning some chickens. Oh no, squids! What? Do you <laughs> this is kind of cool. Hello, sir. You are going to die very quickly. GG. G freaking G. It's spawning loads of chickens because chickens will survive this. And do it again. Come on, chickens. Be prepared. Get ready. More chickens. Chickens for days. Here we go. Chicken orgy. Chicken orgy. <laughs> what the heck? And up we go. They'll all be fine. Don't worry about them. They float. Chickens float. See me going down with them? They'll be down in a minute. Don't worry about them. Uh, next, we have the custom TNT. I actually don't know what this one does. I guess it's just random, just picks a random TNT. And that one, I don't know, did you just pick an exploding nasty one? Is it random or is it just... An, oh, I did the gravity one again. No, what did you do? Get away from it. No! <laughs> no, stop! Oh, the chickens just landed too. They're like, what is this shit? Okay, we're good. We're good, don't worry about it. So let's put a random one down again. And hopefully this one is random. Because I've only just found this one. Oh, I guess it just kind of explodes and sets fire to stuff. Uh, next we have the Easter Egg TNT, and this one's pretty cool. It says, what does that say? BSMPM. Um, and it kind of just puts carrot, not carrots, what am I talking about? Pumpkins and melons absolutely everywhere. Which is kind of cool for food and um, jack-o'-lanterns if you ever need those. That one's quite nice. And then we have the sand firework, which kind of does what it says on the tin. Shoots up in the air and then sends sand absolutely everywhere. Completely annoying and trolly, um, which a lot of these TNTs are. Now there's one more that I'm missing. So this is the final one. This is the Ender Bomb, and this one is crafted like so with an Ender Pearl and a TNT. Now I kind of missed a few of them. Custom TNT. Um, I don't think you can actually craft that one. The Easter Egg though is three bone meal, uh, two melon seeds, two pumpkin seeds, and a TNT times twenty times two. Fire, um, sand firework is times five and a firework and seven sand so that's the recipes um, as I said they're all in the description now this one is the ender bomb and if I stand right on the top or inside it it's gonna shoot me right into the air very very high so that I can't see anything and I come right back down and probably die if I wasn't in creative now if I was to do this to Cody I think he might rage slightly and it would make for a hell of a Hell of a great episode if I kept blowing the shnikes out of Cody. Now, if you do want to see this in Crazy Craft, make sure you do hit that thumbs up. If we hit 5,000, we will be adding it straight to the pack. And it really does help us if you do like the video. And if you did enjoy it, it just kind of shows that you did. So if you do want to download the mod and play it for yourself, the link will be in the description on our auto installer on the website. And as always, thanks for watching. It's cool.